Hello everyone, you are watching Cricket Next. This is me, Amrit Santlani. Today was the second ODI between India and Australia. And what a game it was. What a comprehensive performance. The rain did, you know, rob the Australian uh, team uh, of, of, you know, getting a, a fair result. I mean, the DNS total became a lot more one-sided. 317 runs needed in 33 overs. It's always going to be very difficult. And then Ravi Chandra and Ashwin uh, picking up uh, three wickets in the space of seven balls. That was another uh, challenge which you know uh, which left the Australian middle order in tatters. But but there's a lot of things that we can talk about. Lots of positives. Once again, KL Rahul's captaincy out there. Uh, uh, you could see that KL Rahul, you know, he was very mature as a captain in the absence of Rohit. Uh, the way he rotated his bowlers once again, the way he went with Ashwin in the middle overs, knowing that that there was a partnership building between Marnes and David Warner. Obviously, Ashwin removed Marnes first, then uh, got David Warner and then got Josh Inglis as well. Three back-to-back wickets which completely dented the, the Australian batting. Uh, towards the end, Shan Abbott and obviously the lower order batters did trouble the Indian batting a little bit, but then Ravindra Jadeja and the others uh, chipped in to make it a very comprehensive win. 99 run victory for the Indian team. We are 2 0 up in the series, and that means that going into the World Cup, the Indian team will remain the number one ranked ODI team. We are number one in all three formats. Going into the World Cup, we will be number one. And uh, attending the uh, uh, post match press conference, uh, Shah Nawab came out and he talked about a lot of things, talked about how the Australian team has lost five games on the dot, three matches against South Africa. Uh, they were they were leading uh, two 0 and then they went down three two. So he talked about that. He said obviously uh, not a good thing as an as an Aussie supporter. But uh, uh, I mean the team has a lot of confidence. And I personally asked him about uh, how them being the five time champions is there any added pressure on them because they lost five games in a row. That's obviously not that you expect from an Aussie team. Obviously they are so dominant across all formats. So he said that obviously there's a lot of confidence in this team. There's a lot of skill in this team. Uh, it's a very settled pressing rule, so they are not taking it as any added pressure. It's a series where both the Aussie team and the Indian team have given a rest to all, uh, to the, uh, a lot of key players. So it's all about trying and finalizing your your playing eleven. Like they they rested uh, a lot of players today. Uh, the Indian team made just one change. Jasprit Bumrah was not available. He went back to his family uh, to be with his child, with his wife, and in came Prasid Krishna. He started really well, got two early wickets, which set the chase uh, up for India, helped them, you know, the, uh, get a get a slight advantage in the chase. Because uh, in a game like this, if the Aussie team had gotten a hundred or partnership, you know, if the Indian team hadn't got the wickets uh, early on, then Australia would have always been uh, at a head start. But that's uh, what Prasid Krishna brings. Then towards the end of the innings, uh, the rest of the uh, players chipped in. Shreyas Ayer also came to the press conference after his century today. Uh, a lot of questions for Shreyas. He was obviously asked how he's feeling towards the end of his century. After scoring his century, he was uh, the physio came on and he was attended. He was attended by the physios. So Shreyas said that he is feeling 100% fine. Uh, I asked Shreyas about how uh, he feels about the, the batting position where he bats. I mean, the Indian management has tended to give Shreyas that number four role. That number four and number five dilemma has been with the Indian team for a long time. And as said by Rohit himself, uh, they want flexibility. And that's what Shreyas talked about, that he also wants flexibility in the team. He, he said that he would be happy to represent the Indian team. It's a matter of pride. Uh, it depends a lot on the situations. So that's what he said about the game. Another very, very crucial game uh, for uh, Ravi Chandran Ashwin. In the last game, he picked up just one wicket and uh, he's only played two. This was the third ODI game that he's played in six years now. Today, he got the three wickets. That too, on a surface where there was not much on offer for uh, for the bowlers. It was a flat wicket. India scored 399 runs and in reply, Australia nearly, just about nearly got them. They got to the 300 mark. Is, uh, uh, so, I mean, obviously, if, if the game hadn't been truncated, if the rain uh, didn't delay the proceedings, then obviously the Aussies might have as well put up an even tougher fight and it would have been a closer finish. So, uh, a big game for Ashwin's confidence, a big game for a lot of players and it remains to be seen how Ashwin is seen going forward after this series because a lot of talk about Ashwin's comeback, Akshar Patel is not fit currently, 
we have yet to hear whether Akshar is fit for the third game. Just still a couple of days, obviously. The third ODI is on 27 uh, in Rajkot. Uh, the likes of Virat Kohli, Hardik Pandya, uh, Rohit Sharma will return for that uh, third ODI. So uh, a lot of changes could be expected in the Indian team. It remains to be seen whether they persist with uh, Ashwin. How they see Ashwin leading into the World Cup? Only three matches remaining now. Uh, one is the the, the third ODI obviously, and then two warm-up games. So if he is part of the squad, then only he will be able to participate in the warm-up games. 28th of September is the final date for the Indian team to finalize their 15-member squad. So before the 28th, the, 20, the game is on 27th, obviously. So the Indian team not only need to make a tough call on Akshar's fitness, they need to make a call on whether they want to include Washington Sundar in the mix, whether they want somebody like an Ashwin. Uh, Shardul Thakur has gotten the backing of the management. He's played all of these games and I think he's going to continue playing. So it remains to be seen whether uh, they make any changes in terms of Shardul's position because the rest of the top six or the top seven positions pick themselves up. I mean, it's an automatic selection. There's no debate about that. The only couple of things that need to be monitored is the position where Suri Kumar Yadav bats if he gets into the playing level. Where uh, do you see Shardul batting? Um, he played uh, well today, obviously, uh, and a lot of players as well in the Indian team who did not get a lot of game time in the Asia Cup, and now they've gotten these chances. So it remains to be seen how the how they respond in the last game, the final uh, match of the series. Is on the and uh, India leading 2-0, they're the number one team, and uh, a very very clinical display from the Indian team. Full credits to them, credit to the Australian team as well for fighting right until the end. And now on to the series finale. Uh, India has the series in the back. It's a very uh, promising display going into the World Cup, into a home World Cup when you lead 2 0 against the Nazi side. And lots of questions still unanswered, but uh, the Indian management, I think, will figure out some or the other way. 27th is the final game, 28th is the last day to announce the Indian finalize the Indian squad, the 15 member squad. So lots of questions still remain, lots of boxes still remain to be ticked. It remains to be seen what is the final uh, the final 15 member squad that's going into the World Cup. That's uh, that's the final remaining question going into the last ODI. Uh, hope you enjoyed this coverage at Cricket Next of the second ODI. Uh, do follow the third ODI at Cricket Next. Stay tuned. We'll see you until next time. It's good.